the idea that the world is a simulation maybe comes from some early science fiction where some of the writers imagined uh, people playing games and at some point inside the game world some creatures appeared who weren't the players. It's perfectly possible that we are the production of some very powerful complicated programs running in some big computer somewhere else and there's really no way to distinguish that from what we call reality. Uh, maybe it simulated the all of evolution and uh, it was set up by someone who wanted to see what would happen on a planet like Earth. There may be different kinds of simulations. Uh, there could be the brain in the vat where we have real brains but somehow like a matrix it's got a hold of and be being fed in all information. Another kind can be we're literally on some supercomputer, maybe a good one or bad one, and, and, and a third could be that we, we are being uh, simulated, but, but we, there's a real physical world, but has been created to be a, 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 a simulated, but a real physical world. Not a virtual world, but a real world. It's, it would be very hard to distinguish between all those unless the programmer has made some slip so that you, <clears throat> if you notice that some laws of physics aren't quite right, and then you look at the data very closely and you see, oh, it looks like round-off error. So there's a sort of interesting possibility that even if we were simulated, we might be able to find some technique that would notice some of the grain of the computer being used is, is showing through a little bit. Do you take any of that seriously or it's just an interesting exploratory way of thinking about the world? Well, my friend Edward Fredkin, who originated a lot of the theory of what's called cellular automata has been developing some theories of physics in which space is made of little separate points and Fredkin has suggested some ways that some laws of physics could appear in there which would look very much like real physics except that if you tilted the experiment just right you could see the, uh, the sort of crystal planes in this discrete world and so some very careful experiments might show a grain to the nature of space that we don't see ordinarily. And again, that might show that the world, the real world that we're being simulated in is slightly different from what we thought. So there's a great future there as physics instruments become more and more accurate. They could show up new clues to what reality really is or isn't. So what would you feel if you found those, those anomalies so that that indicated that this was a simulation, what would your emotion be as a computer scientist? Oh, I'd be very excited because uh, first it would mean that the universe was more easy to understand than we had thought and that we might even find ways to change it. And once you understand physics, this is always powerful. If it turns out that physics is actually discrete and separate points, then maybe we could invent new devices that exploit that and uh, every discovery in science leads to wonderful new applications. Would also mean though that, that our level of reality is not the ultimate reality and that you can do all your nice little things in our world but that you have no understanding of what the real reality may be. Yes and uh, that might be a great thing because otherwise we have to say is this all there is? So wouldn't it be nice to know that we're really part of a bigger universe?